up, guys? It's Kanan Smith. Come check out my bus. So this is uh, this is where the driver sits. The driver's got a real cushy chair. It bounces up and down. I'm kind of wanting one of those in my truck. But there's another chair right here, the captain's chair. I like to sit out here in the morning with coffee because it's a straight shot out of the windshield. You can see where you're at. And, and then uh, this is this is beautiful country here in the states that we're that we're seeing every day. And it's cool to just kind of take it all in as you go. We're going all across the country on the uh, Can't See Island Country tour this summer with FGL, Morgan Wallen, Dan and Shay, Hardy and myself and so it's a it's a huge tour it's a, a blast and we're out here doing it so we got a couple TVs out here we actually never use these we rarely we'll have a movie night once in a while when the guys are feeling like you know it's time to get in touch with our emotional side and uh, this is where we listen to songs all the most we'll write songs up here but then at the end of the day when the show's out everybody comes up on the tree vibes bus and wants to hear the songs that were written that day so we blast it through these speakers so we have a real nice surround sound system in here with the subwoofers and stuff. Sounds great. Uh, slide out. Got the slide out and this is huge because most buses can get a little cramped if they don't have this feature. This adds like three feet of space um, up here in the front lounge so it's cool. Working on a track behind me is the one and only, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Corey Crowder. Yeah. Tree Vibes writer and producer. He's, uh, he's one of the most talented people I've ever worked with. How many songs did you write today? At least two, I bet. I wrote two today. Two songs today. Yeah. He is uh, an amazing producer, too, so he'll, he'll have these songs that he wrote today feeling like they're ready for radio by the end of the night. So it's a factory out here, and this guy's a, a, a key, key part in the factory. Tell him what kind of gear we're working with up here in the front lines. Yeah, so uh, we work out of Logic, and we got just little MIDI keys up here, and we just run the Apollo. And man, that's all you really need. SM7 cuts out all the bus noise, and we'll get one of the guitar players up here and make it sound right, and it does. It starts sounding like a regular pretty quick. It does, man. It's crazy. So they built this little speaker stand too. It's super portable. Um, it allows, it lifts the speakers up for them to be able to have their laptop and still be able to hear up close because you can kind of not get a great mix if the speakers are as far as way, away as these are up here. So this puts it right up in your face and you can kind of hear a little bit better. Secret beer cooler, this way. <whistles> Needs ice though. I would offer you one, but you don't like hot beer. Nobody likes hot beer. But we do have Old Camp Whiskey, if I could service you some of that, my friend. This is some of that peach pecan. And this is one of my favorites out there right now. If anybody's drinking at home, let's raise it up. Cheers. Yeah, you need one too, Corey. Oh yeah, I'll take one. You need one too, brother. Nog Champa. Oh hey, show them this. This is my favorite smell on one of my favorite smells on earth. Just a little Nog Champa incense gets it going, the mood. Let it burn, let it blow. Hey, there it goes, and that's just man that sets the vibes on Tree Vibes. There's a lot of vibes on Tree Vibes to be honest with you, but that's one that I'm able to share. <laughs> Hey, brother. Thanks, cheers, dude. my man. Cheers, cheers, buddy. cheers, cheers. I'll get another one with you. Yeah, I'll do it with you. I'm not scared. Whiskey. Come on, bro. Cheers, dude. Damn that whiskey. Damn <laughs> that whiskey got me good, good last, last night. night. Yeah. Oh. Mm. I'm a I'm a neat freak, um, and a lot of guys uh, on the road are are not. Not like this bus is always neat, but my my bus in particular with my band, they all know me as like the guy that throws away all their stuff before they're done with it because I'm just <laughs> going around cleaning it all up. But uh, it's cool to be on a bus where all the guys are clean. The Tree Vibes crew rules clean. Um, right over here is sort of some memorabilia. This is the the bus that FGL built. Basically, this is the company that they built, and we we get to be a part of it. So this is a commemorative license plate to two of their big songs and uh it's cool just to have that you know all right, even right up here we create our future is just positive messages and these are things that we can look at and know that we got targets we got big things to big dreams to accomplish out here and it's inspiring every day to see that kind of stuff uh we got food up here and snacks and whatnot bus stock is not the best right now adam just kidding liquor cabinet um I don't know, usually you can find some fruit snacks and stuff. We tried this stuff, this paleo, paleo, how do you say that? My sister would know, she's into paleo. that stuff. Paleo? Yeah. Paleo. Over here is a mini fridge. We have a, a freezer that kind of works. A microwave from 1981. 
and uh, Keurig for the coffee. This is a little double stack fridge, pretty sharp. After show food from last night, nobody's gonna eat that. Um, what is this down here? Oh, some tequila. Got to keep that cold. So this is the front mount. Oh, the bathroom's right here. If you need to use the restroom, no number two. Don't even think about it. But you can pee right there if you want to. Take a shower. I did right before the show tonight. Um, it's pretty convenient. Sometimes the toilet doesn't flush, and that's pretty nasty. But <laughs> that's just being real. Yeah. So uh, right here is a yeah. This is the bus bay lock right here. When that's unlocked, these these giant bays, there's four or four or five on each side, but they'll open up, and you can use them as storage, like I was saying. Golf clubs, fishing rods, guitars, whatever you need to throw. Throw it down there. Just don't forget to like it. We usually keep waters in these little pull-out drawers. See right there, you can stack up a bunch of waters all at once. And it's kind of a convenient place to keep them. So those are pretty much all the compartments. More cabinets up here. We keep headphones up in these. Um, just because we have we have capability for all the riders to have headphones as we're recording and lay down parts so that we can kind of hear and listen as it goes. And that's a cool feature too. Um, let's head to the, the bunk area. I'll show you. There's 12 bunks on this bus. Magical doors. It's pretty Star Wars for us to do that. Star Trek maybe more. Adam Romaine. Wow. Sure, dude. The backbone of Tree Vibes music, out here chilling, working, always doing something. Two different types of bunk setups on the bus, condo bunks or regular. This is a regular setup over here, there's three high. Um, this one, you go too high, so you, you can separate where you put it and you get a little more headroom. Um, it is possible when you have a smaller crew to travel like this. Um, but when you have a full, full band and, and crew on the same bus, you can fit 12 people, you're probably gonna max out those spaces like this. But right now we're enjoying the extra space. And I'm not sure what condition it's in. Yeah, this is my suitcase. This is a golf shirt Tyler let me use earlier because I didn't bring one. This is my toothbrush. It's a quip, it's pretty cool actually. I like this a lot. It's the only electric toothbrush I've ever owned. But it's like small and easy to use. Um, I shouldn't have my shoes in the bed, that's gross. There's those. I don't know, we're all team players out here. There's no preference on bunks at this point. This was kind of just one that uh, I ended up getting assigned or something or had or I don't know. We just kind of all share what we got. I like the condo. I would take whatever we got though. The lower, sort of the smoother the ride, the higher up with gravity and kind of sway a little bit. Yeah. But um, I don't feel it. It's too, I mean, it's, you're talking a few feet. It's not that big a deal. Yeah, this is the back lounge. Check it out. <laughs> Holy shit! That's Shanzi. Shanzi just uh, what up, y'all? Shanzi works with with the guys and uh, FGL, and we are uh, out on the best tour of the summer right now. So he helps uh, keep it all in check and make sure that we are on time for stuff and True. got what we need. And Shanzi is the man. So, so we have uh, these speakers. These speakers are mounted into. The, you gotta go. All right, bro. Peace, man. See you, man. Have a good show. These speakers are mounted into. This is our uh, bus where we where we write songs. I wrote two songs on here today. Front lounge, back lounge, two different spaces. They both have speakers mounted so that the producers can do their thing and we can hear what's going on as we're writing. And uh, a lot of activity out on this bus. There's no uh, no downtime. We make the most of it. It's cool. We, get, we have two different songwriting sessions happening simultaneously on any given day out here. Every day that, that the bus is on the road, actually. So just today, this bus produced four songs. So we're proud of the, the work ethic and the, and the uh, amount of songs that come off this bus, man. It's inspiring for all of us. It's cool. The back lounge is more kind of the laid back, get a little bit of quiet time zone where you can call your wife or your family and just check in. And so I'll hang back here at the end of the night and check in with Christy. We all do that and it's, um, it's cool. This is also a good place to uh, watch movies, you know. It's, two screens back here and the, again surround sound so it sounds really great there's a lot of cool hangs on buses another secret uh, cooler right here needs ice but this is a badass um, audio setup too we got everything you need here from from Bluetooth connectivity all the way to Xbox to play video games and stuff like that we play Settlers of Catan me and my crew right on this table right here we've had a lot of a lot of crazy battles 
Um, cool lights everywhere too. If you're like me, you like turning knobs, and there's tons of knobs to turn. I don't even have them memorized. I just try them. That one's not even doing anything. Oh yeah, that's right there. Look at that light. Hey hey. Then the rest are right here. And there's different zones. And make it feel like a party. You can kind of give it some mood. Dim the lights. Oh yeah. That's what she likes. It's been a really cool time hanging out with you guys, showing you where I've been hanging out this summer. Thanks for checking out my bus. Thanks for listening to my music, by the way. I'm putting new music out starting uh, August 15th. A new song called Beer Drinking Weather. Then we're putting another one out after that, and then another, and then another, and we're gonna keep on doing it. So I'm excited to do that. I hope you guys go check it out. Follow me on Instagram at Kanan Smith, and then KananSmith.com for everything else. See you on the road. I know I got things to do. I got to go sing right now. So actually, I got to peace out. We'll see you on the, on the road somewhere soon. Y'all take it easy.